Alright, I'm gonna go over a guide. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna cover it, and I'm gonna talk over it here and there, but it's gonna be covering the... The, um, hang on, let me get a good angle. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna just cover the overall dodge mechanic and some auto attack and, uh, canceling animations. So here we go. This is the dodge. It's plain and simple. You want to dodge before the attack hits. When you do that, you're able to become immune. Technically, it's where the iframe comes into play. So this whole dodge mechanic works both with Dauntless and with this game as well. Alright, when you dodge, the main focus is to either reposition, re, uh, reposition yourself and become immune to the damage. And this only works with the main attacks of enemies, which is plain and simple. You dodge, you're immune. That's all it is. But you want to dodge on the right attacks. You don't want to dodge on a, pin a peanut damage attacks, okay? Because you only have a certain amount of stamina, and stamina is what the cost is for dodging, okay? So essentially that's all it is, okay? Let's see it one more time, and then we're going to go into the second part. Punch, dodge. Land, dodge. Right? Dodge. Dodge. So simple, but people end up getting hit by it, because it does get very complicated on the Rune Guardians, Rune Hunters, the Stone Hired Lara Curls, the big Geo wannabes of a giant, right? Okay, now we're gonna go into the auto-track animations. What I wanna what I wanna tell you guys first before we actually go into the video, I'm gonna see if I can turn on my OBS camera and show it to you guys like so. Now let me get my pointer. Auto attack to auto attack number two. That right here does not mean two auto attacks. That means the when you first unleash the auto attack, the auto attack swings to its end animation. Within this entire animation, you are able to cancel this portion of it with an ability. Okay, that means you're able to factor in both auto attack damage, right? Auto attack damage, wherever my freaking camera is. Auto attack damage and ability damage. You might not be able to see it, but that's essentially what it is, okay? So now let's watch. Those are my normal attacks, right? Now I can cancel the entire window, almost the entire window, with an auto-attack animation cancel. Where you auto-attack into the ability, like so. You see, I get two damage out of one ability. Out of one animation, sorry, okay? That's the most imperative part about this whole thing. So those are my normal attacks, here it comes. Auto-attack animation cancel with an ability. Right there, right there, that's how it is. If you were able to manipulate this and take advantage of this within your entire gameplay, you're able to literally skyrocket your damage. Literally, I'm telling you the truth. Literally. Now we're gonna do it with Dialer, okay? He's very infamous, or rather he's very uh, popular amongst the crowds, but people end up using him very poorly. You see how his auto attacks are very long. The entirety of the animation is long. You're able to cancel out the animation of an auto attack with the ability. So you're able to finish the animation, well not finish, but you're able to, you know, take up a portion of the auto attack animation with the ability. So, let's view it one more time. On the left, well rather right here, you're seeing it, right? And then on the left, you're gonna see the ability with the auto attack, and then on the right, it's gonna be without the auto attack, okay? Or without the ability. So yeah, as you can see, I'm finishing right here, literally in the slow-mo. I'm finishing the auto attack animation with my ability. Look at that! Do you see that? Oh my god. God, the insanity. You know, literally, people do not take advantage of this. They just spam out E thinking that it does a ton of damage, which it does. But if you're able to utilize the attack uh, stat on your weaponry correctly, you're able to get both damages R. Okay, so let's follow through. Now I'm going to show you guys the fast E combo, which is essentially the same exact thing as the fast Q combo. So right here is just a regular auto attack into the ability. So that way you cancel the auto attack animation. Okay, now let's see the big part. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait, not yet. Hang on. <laughs> okay, now I should come. Uh, anytime now. Buddy, here we go. Uh, this is the fast E combo. You're auto-attacking into the ability, and after the entire animation of the, of the auto-attack animation finishes, you go into the next, and then the next, and then the next. And it's nice and simple. However, it's not simple, okay? Because look at that. Look at that stat right here. Let me see if I can pause it. You see that stat, 247? That's important to know that you need to proc the auto attacks. If you don't, then you're just spamming abilities. You're missing out on that flat bonus. If you miss that bonus of the flat damage, 
you are losing out on a chunk of damage, okay? Because abilities are on cooldowns, but auto attacks aren't technically on cooldown. It's only the animation that's on a cooldown, okay? So after the animation of the auto attack finishes, you're able to proc the next auto attack, right? So in order to get two birds with one stone, you can do an auto attack and animation, or sorry, and an ability at the same time, or within the same window of an auto attack, okay? So now let's move on to whatever I have next. Okay, so here's just me showing them with Noel. Same thing, same thing applies. You're able to cancel out the auto attack with the E animation. So that's the regular attack speed. Now watch this. Auto attack into the ability, and it finishes the animation automatically. That's a beautiful. That is totally beautiful. Two birds with one stone. Now here is a new uh, dodge mechanic, kind of. It's just repositioning. Within the same exact dodge, which is essentially the sprint, you're able to reposition yourself. So here I dodge to the left, and then I dodge to the right. Okay, let me see that one more time. That's me dodging in the same frame. This is dodging to the left, just a regular dodge. Now watch this part, watch this part really carefully. I'm gonna dodge, and within that same dodge frame, I dodge to the left, and I reposition to the right, and I'm still dodging, okay? So now we're gonna go into the next part of the video, which will just feature the, uh... Hang on, I talk here, but I'm just gonna skip ahead. Okay, so here is just me doing ribbon. I'm gonna mute it, okay? Actually, I'm gonna mute myself, I'm gonna turn the camera off, and then we're gonna watch it. Ooh, this is my E on Diluc. You see how I'm able to do all of that at the same time? At the same time, you're able to achieve the damage. As opposed to just chucking out auto attacks. You s well, let me show it again with Diluc, okay? Auto attack animation cancel is you auto attack into your ability. That's what it is. That's all it is. Okay. That's all it is. You always want to make sure that the attack applies, because if you don't, then the stat is missed. The damage is missed. So that's a big window of opportunity that was cancelled out by your inability to apply the attack, to be patient enough, or to practice enough to where you're able to do it. Auto attack into... Alright, so you saw that, right? Hang on, let me mute myself again. We're gonna go over that one more time. Into the ribbon. So right here, as you can see, I am using the auto attack into the Q animation to cancel the auto attack animation. That's why they call it an auto attack animation cancel. If you search it up on YouTube anywhere and type in Riven, R-I-V-E-N, it's easy. You're gonna find so many people talking about it because that's essentially the same thing as a fast Q combo. And that's the same thing as what I was talking about before, the fast E combo on Diluc. Okay. Auto attack into the animation, I mean, into the ability, sorry. Auto attack into the ability, auto attack into the ability. Now right here, exactly what I was talking about before, if you miss the auto attack, you miss out on a chunk of damage. Let me show it to you one more time. This is the proper method right here. Auto attack into the ability, auto bleh, into the ability. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so much of a tongue twister, but that's essentially what it is. That's all it is, literally it's all it is. Okay, I wanted to show my camera for this just to help you guys out. Because someone big in the YouTube uh, content industry, right, talked some sort of misinformation. I don't like that, okay? It's okay if he doesn't know, but don't spit out false stuff, okay? That, 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 that's not appropriate, okay? So what you do, once again, auto attack into the ability. Because, like I said before, your auto attack travels from point A to point B. And then it goes into another auto attack cycle, and then it goes into another auto attack cycle. Within that cycle, you're able to pop in an ability, okay? That's all it is. Pop in the ability, pop in the ability as your auto attack is finishing, or within the auto attack animation. That's essentially all it is, because that way you're able to cancel out auto attack, okay? The auto attack animations. Very imperative. Very, very imperative. Auto attack into the animation, okay? Like I said before, right over here, somewhere around here. With the doubles. I did doubles. Right here. Okay, now watch. Watch this madness. Have you seen that? Look at that. I'm finished right here on the right. I don't know if I'm on the right or left for you guys, but on the right of your screen is the normal auto attack speed. As that auto attack window finishes, I'm already in my ability. So I, on the left, I did the auto attack into the ability. On the right, I only did the auto attack, and I'm still at the end of my auto attack. 
okay, for both, but I, for one of them, I did both auto attack and ability, while the other one, I just did the regular auto attack, okay? Within the window, within the speed of, of the window, rather, you're able to put in two for one. That's essentially all it is, okay? Uh, that's all it is, two for one, okay? So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, if you want a more in-depth guide on this, I will be more than happy to apply it. Or rather, to give it to you guys, but just let me know in the comments. I don't know if anyone, barely even anyone is even watching this, these videos, but if anyone does, I'll, I'm telling you right now, this is how you can maximize your DPS. Okay, not through <laughs> animation ability into an auto attack. Oh! You, you're literally applying half your potential DPS, okay? By doing that. It, that is not the smart route to go, okay? Not the smart route to go. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!